In this video, I'm going to go over how I turn my garage into a home gym. And to do that, let's start out with my main three objectives. First, you want your gym to take up as little as space as possible. For me, I wanted to be able to park both my cars in there and have still plenty of room to get in and out and move through my garage. Second, I wanted to be able to work out all my muscle groups, just as I would at any regular gym. Three, I wanted to spend as little money as possible. To start out, let's talk about what takes up the most space, and that's the benches. I was able to get rid of my bench press by simply buying this squat rack. Now you can see that it easily moves in and out from the wall with a medium amount of force and is sturdy, and I'm able to do plenty of workouts just with this squat rack. I'm able to do uh, pull-ups, bench press, squats, incline, plenty of other things. You don't just need just the squat rack, but this amazing bench that folds in and out from the wall with very little force. Now, one of the most difficult things to put into the gym was my cable system. Now, this is very important because I like doing lat pull-downs. They're great for triceps, great for many different types of lifts. And this cable system is not that hard to set up. It may look intense, but it's actually pretty easy. It's important to have lots of things to do this lat pull down system. You need the cables, you need clamps, you need ceiling mounts, you need hooks, you need bars, and you need something to connect the weights to the cable. And this piece right here is very important. I don't know what it's called, but I will link to it below like everything else. And the reason why these pulleys are so important and it's important to have two is first of all, it takes the load off of just the one pulley and kind of spreads the load onto two pulleys. So you're not damaging your ceiling. And the second thing you may not think about is that it removes you from the weight. As you pull down on the equipment, the weight goes up. And if, you're, if it's all on the same stud, the weight will hit you while you're working out. So it's important to be removed from the weights as they go in and out. And now I'm able to do lat pull downs. I'm able to work out my triceps with the ropes and with the bars. Now the best thing is this all does not take up that much space because when I am done, it's all attached to the ceiling. I take off the mountings, put them on my wall mount, which I'll go over in just a bit, and take the cables and put them on a hook on my wall and it's all out of the way. Now to save space, all these bars and attachments for the lat pull down system can be attached to a wall mounting that I have here and I'll show you on the side wall. This mounting has cut down on space. It's amazing because all these bars, it organizes them efficiently and you don't need a, a rack or anything to put them on. Now for my gym, I needed two main bars. I needed a, a crooked curl bar and an Olympic bar for my bench presses, my squats and all that sort of stuff and you need a place to put those. And so this bar mount that I put on my wall is great because it vertically puts the bars onto the wall. So it's not putting all the weight on the wall. It's actually just putting all the weight on the ground and the wall mount is balancing it out. And I recommend this wall mount, I will link to it below. Now everybody's different with how many weights to get. I recommend getting four 45 pound plates two 35 pound plates, two 25 pound plates, a lot of 10 pound plates, a lot of five pound plates, and a lot of two and a half pound plates. That's just my personal preference. And also don't forget the clamps that clamp the weights into place. Basically there's two things that I look at when I get weights is how easy are they to grab. And so I liked these because there was a space for my hand to go into them. And then you wanna look at, do you want any rubber weights for your garage gym? Um, so you either gotta get rubber weights um, if you're gonna be doing a lot of stuff on the ground, or you have to be getting floor mats. Now, if you wanna keep organized and make it look nice, put the weight mounts onto the wall. Now, these ones, I will link to them as well, and they have four links, and they are awesome. To get it so that it doesn't put all the weight on the studs in the wall, I have this mount so it's touching the cement floor. Now, dumbbells. I wanted to consolidate 
And so what I did was I just got the adjustable weight dumbbells. So you can just click to the weight that you want the dumbbell to weigh, you pull it up, it automatically keeps that amount of weight on there and you're set to go. And then I just went and I bought one of these cupboards that you can get online from below or you get from Ikea where they're squared off and they just sit right on top of it and it just works out perfectly. It's small, it's concise. It just makes a nice space where you can put all your extra odds and ends for working out and you know exactly where you're there at. You can see them and it actually even looks kind of cooler just to have them. Now I want to just put a plug in for the landmine because you take the Olympic bar and you put it into the landmine and then you're able to work out your back muscles in ways that I can't work out in the rest of my garage, including doing upright rows. And it's just something I really recommend getting. Um, it's a small, cheap little piece of equipment, but really helps out for certain back muscles. Normally you would do these kind of lifts with a cable, but if you want to use free weights, the landmine makes that possible. And um, to me, it looks a little bit cooler to do it this way. Another side thing that I really recommend having in your garage gym is a TV. It just makes things less boring some days. Some days you don't want to do it, you just want to watch TV, and then you don't have the excuse to watch TV in the house because you can watch TV while you're working out. And just a note about mine, mine is all hooked up through my smart home. Um, and if you want to learn more about that, I'm able to just say, it's time to work out. Okay, Google. And all of my work gym turns time. on. Uh, my lights come on, my TV comes on, better already. and uh, I can just tell my Google to play music if I just want to play music. If you want to learn more about that, definitely watch my video on smart homes. I take it from A to Z on what you do to set up a smart home and make it awesome. So I have this bench that is my favorite bench because not only am I able to use it to do inclines with my squat rack, but I'm able to use it to do many other lifts, obviously, that you would use for incline. And it works out two leg muscles that I couldn't find another way to do. Um, and they are the leg extensions and the leg curls. Now, I will link to this one, it's online. The one issue with this is it's not small, it's big. But what's great is I will link to bench mounts so that you can mount any of your benches to the wall. I do have another bench that I wasn't actually going to get, but it does help to work out my lower back and it was my wife's recommendation that we get it. And I like it because I do use it every once in a while uh, for lower back. Now this pink baby right here is my wife's aerial yoga silks. Now she really wanted this system for her. But when I take those aerial silks down, I put up these softballs that I drilled holes in and I hook them to chains and these take your pull-ups to an extra level. Um, it's something that I <laughs> kind of just came up with watching America's Next Ninja Warrior or whatever it's called. They're just a way to do pull-ups but also uh, work on your grip strength as well. Now, if you're a person that happens to have a bad back like me, squats are just a nightmare. I ruin my back all the time using squats. So unfortunately, I had to get a special machine just to do squats. And it keeps my back at a very good angle, so it's not, it doesn't put so much pressure on my lower back. But I love this machine. Unfortunately, it's a beast, it's expensive, but it was something that I absolutely needed. And if you have a bad lower back, I recommend this squat rack over doing the squats on the regular squat rack. So now there's a couple of odds and ends devices that I highly recommend, and that is a fan. Now, this is my fan. I have it set up once again to my smart system, so when I just tell Google it's time to work out, it automatically comes on. Now the mirrors are just a psychological benefit to gyms. That's why when you go to a gym, there are mirrors everywhere. You get to check out your form, check out your muscles, make sure everything's going correctly as you're working out. So don't forget to put a mirror in your gym. Another odds and ends item is my floor mats. I, put the, I use the floor mats to put the weights on and it really saves my ground. So other floor mats are important if you're gonna be doing sit-ups and such, this is good to help save your back and you might want another one of these mats. If you're doing your gym in your garage, I highly recommend putting epoxy down on the cement and that just saves so much hassle. It's so easy to clean. 
uh, A, after you work out, B, if there's any oil from your cars or anything, and it just makes the whole system a lot more cleanly. I feel fine getting on the ground if I have to. Along with mirrors, you want great lighting for the gym. It's really a motivator if you have good lighting. Some people like much more expensive ones, but these are the ones that are really cheap and I love them for my gym. I love my home gym. It has taken the place of my gym completely. Um, and the biggest thing isn't that it saves me money, it's that it saves me a ton of time. I don't have to get ready, get in my car, and when I get to the gym, I don't have to sit there and wait for a piece of equipment to be open and sit and waste a couple minutes. I'm done working out. So hopefully I gave you guys ideas to make the right purchases for your home gym, because that's what this channel is all about. If I did that, like this video and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.